Let's talk about client presentations. Selling your hard work to the client as best as you can is a no-brainer, but there's so many wrong and right ways to approach this. In this final section of the course, we're going to talk about three different ways to present your brand design work based on three different audiences. How you tailor your visuals and text will depend on the audience. Therefore, it might be different for each version or each presentation. First off, there is the client presentation. It's all about selling the idea. With client presentations, you want to have one main goal. That goal is to sell the concept you worked so hard with the client to create. It will be heavy on describing the reasons why and talking about your design and how it supports the overall company story and narrative for years to come. Common formats for client presentations are, but not limited to, slide decks, PowerPoint, Google Slides, PDF, and website pages. This kind of presentation is for you and the client. Your goal is to convince the client that not only did they make the right decision in hiring you, but to give you all future design work and branding jobs that they'll have. It's to start that conversation of, now what? What's next? Obviously, as time moves on, they will need to expand this brand, and hopefully you can sell yourself as the one to do that. Another goal for a client presentation is to properly present your research, findings, and final concept so they can give you a final stamp of approval on all related items so you can start to prepare and send those final files to them. Lastly, the goal with a client presentation would to make sure they understand the style and brand that you're bringing forth. They need to understand your thought process behind all choices so that they continue to foster their newly developed brand ethos and even help you tweak anything so make sure it aligns perfectly with their hopes and dreams and goals and desire for their company. The audience for this one is you and the client, so the way you craft a client presentation is solely based on the conversations you had with them. It will answer questions they had and show them that you were really paying attention to that client brief. Client presentations tend to be a bit more text heavy as they explain more of the behind the scenes thought process. Think of this presentation as answering all of their why questions. Why these colors? Why the type choice? Why these photos? Etc. The second type of presentation is a portfolio presentation and this is about selling yourself. And the audience for this one is anyone interested in hiring you or checking you out. And since portfolio presentations are more about pitching yourself to future clients, they tend to show off more mock-ups and practical applications, and they're a little bit less wordy when it comes to talking about the details of the brainstorm and concept development stages. Portfolio case studies need to be brief and be tailored to impress quickly with wow images to pique the potential client's interest. There may be a bit of research and data shown, but it should never overwhelm a viewer because they're looking at hundreds of these types of projects. So with these, you must keep their interest with bigger, bolder visuals. Common formats for portfolio presentations are, but not limited to, website portfolio case studies, behance.com or other third-party websites, social media. After you crafted a client presentation and or a portfolio presentation, you may be tasked to create a more formal document called the Branding Guidelines Manual or Brand Guidelines Manual. It has a lot of different names. This is our third type of presentation. This is usually an added task in the brand design process as not every company will request one or have the budget for one at first. Make sure this is an extra item you charge for as it can be a very time consuming process to put one of these manuals together. The good news is we've already worked through this entire process. So it's just a matter of taking these different pieces we've done and putting it into a concise guidelines manual. We've already established our guidelines for photos, typography, usage, and color. We now need to put it in a PDF form for download on the company's website, and of course go into more detail than what we've gone through so far. And these guideline manuals are written to show anyone how to use the brand design and identity design. The brand guidelines is written to a different audience altogether. So the way you write it will be focused on teaching others how to use the brand design you, you have developed. 
This will mostly be other designers, web developers, media and PR folks, or anyone inside the company that needs to create any sort of media for the company. This will be written as if the client or company is speaking directly to the reader. So for example, XYZ company believes in bringing families together. So you're writing from the perspective of the company. You're writing on behalf of the company when you write this. And we'll go into more detail about this later. So your audience for these manuals could be marketing managers, social media marketers, company employees, other graphic designers that are working with the brand. Web developers are really going to need to have have this, especially the hex code numbers and, and typography stuff, um, media companies and ad agencies, if they plan to ever deploy an ad agency, or anyone interested in knowing more about the story of the company. We're going to talk more detail about all three of these different types of presentations. So we're going to start off with the client presentation for Sushi Club, and we're going to take a look at some really good examples so we can get inspired to start our own.